In this video, I get stuck at an airport. The crew didn't show up, so there's nobody to fly the plane. I drink something tasty. Mm -hmm. This is not good. Oh. And we find an unexpected Hello. guest. Hello and welcome. After recently selling my 99 Escalade and not having another truck to drive, I had only four days to find something else. In my search, I came across a 2004 Lexus GX470, which happened to be the cheapest one listed for sale with a clean title and solid frame. I called the owner, who happened to be a retired foreign diplomat residing in rural Virginia. After some negotiation, we made a deal. I gave him a deposit and booked my flight for the next morning, which happened to be a Sunday, meaning I'd have to be back in time to get some rest because I had work Monday morning. I knew I was cutting it close, but c'est la vie. So the next morning off to the airport I went. So I'm here at Metro Airport trying to catch this flight to go get this truck and the crew didn't show up. So there's nobody to fly the plane and this is what I have to look forward to. I also just got a notification that we're delayed until 10.30. Hopefully that stays. A couple hours later, we were finally in the air. I reached my destination safely, inspected the vehicle thoroughly, renegotiated a bit, and was on my way. People ask me why I love these road trips so much. I mean, look at the scenery, would you? Just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I wish I had the camera set up a little earlier. We crossed over the Potomac. Beautiful. It's just the open road and the tranquility of it. Other than the uh, green Jeep Wrangler crawling up my tailpipe, it's, uh, it's a nice ride. Stop for fuel for both me and the truck. And it's got a bit of an oil leak. It's not pouring, it's dripping, but I think it's starting to get a little worse. So I gotta keep my eye on the gauges and uh, stop every so often and check the oil. Uh, so far it's clean, it's fresh, he just changed it. And uh, it hasn't leaked enough to show on the dipstick but I'm just gonna keep going and uh, stop every so often so let's get to it and uh, you know God willing everything will be fine Zidra I've driven about 180 miles almost 200 miles and I've just joined the uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike so far so good keeping my eyes on the T's and P's and my nose for uh, anything out of the normal. So, let's keep trucking. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, you poor guy. Oh man. He totally flipped his semi. Still coming through Pennsylvania. Stopped, checked the fluids. Everything looks fine. Uh, and uh, stop to get something tasty to drink. These new pistachio lattes from Starbucks? I'm curious. Mm -hmm. That is a tasty latte. Not bad. I like that. Mmm. Oh man, that actually really is good. <laughs> I might have to stop at the next Starbucks and get another one. Uh, so far, so good. The uh, tire pressure monitoring system is not working. Uh, we got a bit of an oil leak. We got a bit of a hum from the back uh, passenger side. But We've got good heat, heated leather seats, and four-wheel drive if it snows, so the 
let's keep on trucking and uh, by the grace of God we'll make it home in time for uh, for supper Question is, will this will this person in the car in front of me? Oh my god, you're breaking in the left lane, you douchebag! Drop me almost 20 miles an hour. Good look under the hood while it's warming up. Oh, hello. What? Oh, looks like we had a chipmunk living in here. Well, better than a mouse, as chipmunks don't care for wires like mice do. New Napa battery. Timing belt's been done. A little bit of a valve cover leak. Some poor touch up paint application there. Looks pretty clean, other than, you know, the few minor scratches here and there. And again, there's lots of marks on the car where it looks like someone touched up the paint and did a bad job or got something on it. Got a dent right here. Another dent here with some bad uh, touch up paint. As you can see, he's missing the third row, but it's got WeatherTech mats, so all is forgiven. And I got a buddy of mine who's going to hook me up with a pair of rear seats. Another dent here. 
Very minor dents though, stuff I can pull on my own. Turns out that's an aftermarket DVD player. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it works. But as you can see, the body's in pretty decent shape. There's no real rust on it. Even the frame is pretty solid. I don't know how well you can see through there. But usually these things rot the frame pretty badly. The wheels, however, are going to need to be either replaced or refinished for sure. I'm going to try to refinish those. Doesn't have navigation, which I don't mind because the old navigations aren't very good anyways. And one of the features I find most interesting is right there. Your computer has your miles per gallon, average and instant. Your range, average miles per hour, and then a barometer, as well as an altimeter, is it called? Altimeter? Altimeter? Sorry, I don't use that kind of language usually because I don't fly, I drive. ET, and back to your temperature. The height control works, the suspension uh, adjustments work. The heated mirrors work. However, two of the windows don't work from these controls here. These two crisscross, front passenger and rear driver. I gotta see if that's the uh, panel there is bad. The dash isn't cracked. It's a little dirty, but nothing I can't clean up and fix. So, for a daily driver that I can plow through the snow in and then I don't have to worry about scratching it or dinging it as much as I would other cars this fits the bill very well it's nice comfortable uh, safe rides nice and like I said I don't have to worry about scratching it or anything some of the other cars like even that Escalade as old as it was it was just in such nice condition I was afraid to ding it or scratch it because it's just a nice car so it turned out that the oil leak was the valve cover gaskets were leaking pretty bad onto the exhaust. Hopefully in the next video we'll address that issue as well as any other mechanical issues we find and then we'll go from there. Big shout out to my boy MJ for hooking me up with the third row seats. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.